Hi, it's Kei. From this video, I start to be talking about the components of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, but not only that, I will focus on some of the things that are not likely touched on other websites or videos, like what is it really for? Why do numbers like 9 or 26 are used for its setup? You know, the significance of those numbers, and most importantly, how to apply it in your daily chart analysis to make profits from trading. I think I am the first one to teach this as a pure Japanese trader from Japan who actually studied it from the original book and this time I will take you deeper down to the original concept. So if you like this video already, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because I will continue to make few more videos about this as I have a lot more to talk about. So let's get started. You know, I've done some research on how Ichimoku Kinkoyo has been introduced and explained on some resources out there. And what I found was that their main focus was trade signals, like dead cross or gold cross of Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, or when the price breaks out Kumo, that's the sign of beginning trend, things like that, you know? And let me tell you, that's totally wrong. I mean, it is totally wrong. Ichimoku is actually not meant to provide signals. Well, it does in some cases, but it's not really for that. So what is it for? It's actually created to show how the equilibrium of the current prices as a part of whole market momentum. As you already might know, Ichimoku means one look, but it also means one move ahead. So it's intended for you traders to be able to expect one move ahead based on its chart analysis. And Kinko means equilibrium, and Hyo means diagram in Japanese. The interesting thing is, in the original book, it never says about signals as to where to buy or sell, or it, it even doesn't show what we call strategy. The book is rather conceptual, you know, almost like a philosophical story of how Ichimoku Sanjin has been analyzing charts, but the core, you know, the core is to investigate the relation between the current price and past price levels deeply so that you can expect how the price in the future will possibly move. And that's what's making this tool very unique. So for those who think it's just pro providing signals, just forget about it. And I will tell you the ultimate use of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo on this video. First, for those who are first time to Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, let me go over the parts and lines, right? So here is a daily chart of US dollar JPN with Ichimoku Kinko Hyo shown on a chart. Now there are five major lines and let me go over one by one. First one I want to explain is Tenkan Sen and this is the red line on this chart. Uh, Tenkan Sen means conversion or diversion in Japanese and actually on some platforms I find it's called conversion line, not like Tenkan Sen. Um, but what this means is that you take the highest and lowest price of the past 9 days or 9 candles and divide them by 2 and you get the middle point for the past 9 days, right? And that's what this line shows. So this is simply the half price level of the past 9 days and it's shown on the current candle time. And some people say this is like the moving average but in fact the function is very different because the calculation is totally different. A moving average, like 20 simple moving average, let's say, you take the closing price of each candle for the past 20 days and divide them by 20, right? And what does it tell you? It shows how the traders who hold buy or sell positions are doing for the past 20 days. So in moving average, when the price is above the line, it means those who have been buying for the past 20 days are winning. Therefore, you see it's bullish. And when the price is below the moving average, that means those who have sell positions for the past 20 days are winning. So you see it's bearish, right? And that's why gold cross and dead cross are reasonable to work in moving average. But what about Tenkan Sen? Tenkan Sen is actually not meant to be created that way. 
it simply shows the half price level of the highest and lowest price of past 9 days. You know, it doesn't take each candle closing prices, but it just taking the highest and lowest price and by dividing it by 2, basically it shows the equilibrium point for the past 9 days where buy and sell energy becomes 50-50. I mean, I can go on and on, but for those who are first time to Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, let me touch on the definition of Kijun Sen and other lines first, then I will go deeper and deeper with real chart examples. So the second line is Kijun Sen. Kijun means base or standard in Japanese, so it's also called baseline. And this one is just like Tenkan Sen, but the period is the only difference. You know, taking the highest and lowest uh, price of the past 26 days in Kijun Sen and divide them by 2 and show it on the current candle. So this is a little delayed version of Tenkan Sen, if you will. Then there's a Senko Span 1 and Senko Span 2. Senko Span 1 is that you take the price of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, add them up and divide it by 2. So basically the middle price of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen, right? And you place it 26 days or 26 candles ahead. You know, in Japanese, Senko means preceding. So it's forwarded 26 days ahead from the current candlestick. That's why sometimes it's called lead. So what about Senko Span 2? This one is you take the highest and lowest price of the past 52 days, divide them by 2 and get the middle point and forward it to 26 days ahead. This is Senko Span 2 or lead 2, right? So Senko Span 1 is the middle price of Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen and move it to 26 days ahead and Senko Span 2 is the middle price of the past 52 days and you move it to 26 days ahead. And the area between this single span 1 and 2 is called Kumo or cloud. Actually on the original book, Ichimoku Sanjin, you know the original inventor of this, never calls it Kumo. Maybe someone else started to call it Kumo, you know, just by how it looks. But Ichimoku Sanjin calls it resistance zone and sometimes it actually works as resistance or support area at 26 candles in the future. Alright, so that was just the basic knowledge of how Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is created and this is the information that you can find anywhere on Google or whatever. But you know what, this is just the tip of the tip of the iceberg. One thing I truly believe is whenever you use any indicators like moving average or Bollinger Bands or RSI or whatever, you have to know why, like why it's invented for, what purpose it exists, and what message it tries to tell you. However, you cannot always walk up to the inventor and ask those questions face to face, right? Because sometimes, you know, they are gone or far away. So where can you find the answer to the correct usage of those indicators? Actually, it's in the calculation. Now I'm getting a little closer to a hidden secret, so listen carefully now. In Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, if you can recall, in these five lines, you see numbers like 9 or 26 or 52, right? What are these numbers? Well, these numbers are called base numbers. In Japanese, it's called Kihon Suchi. And typical base numbers are 9 and 26. And there are variations like 17, 33, 42, 51 and 65 and on and on. But all these numbers are the combinations of number 9 and 26. And in Ichimoku theory, these numbers are the typical cycles of the market. Like 9 candles can be, can be one cycle or sometimes 26 candles can be one cycle. For example, if the bull trend lasts for 9 days, then bear trend would appear for the next 9 days. Or if it takes 26 days to go bearish and the price marks the lowest, then from that lowest pushback, it would take another 26 days to go bullish to come back to where it started, things like that. This law of cycle is called time theory and it's one of the most important three theories in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Others are called wave theory and price observation theory. 
that you can expect where the next price target can be and it focuses on the vertical line which I will talk about it later. So the time theory focus on the horizontal line in the chart and this is to grasp how you see and expect the cycles of the market over time. As I explained earlier of the philosophy of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, Ichimoku Sanjin, the original inventor says, time is everything. And you will exactly know what it means by investigating into the time theory. So let me explain further about Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen from the charts along with the time theory to understand what these lines are really for. And you will clearly see that they are different from the moving average indicator. Here is the daily chart of US dollar JPN and let's only focus on Tenkan Sen, alright? It's shown on this red line and it's the line that shows the half price level between the highest and lowest of the past 9 days. And let's apply the time theory here. I will show the vertical lines uh, with 9 day interval. And here we go. By the way, for those who doesn't know how to show these cycle lines, if you're using MT4, MT5, you go to Insert, Objects, Lines, and click on Cycle Lines. And you drag 9 periods, then you get these lines. You don't have to draw each line one by one, that would take forever, right? Um, anyways, so I put numbers on each line so that you will know which line I'm talking about. So what do you see here? Do you see anything interesting? First thing you, s you can see is if you just look at this red Tenkan Sen in relation to the candles, look how the price has been crossed over Tenkan Sen over these vertical lines. Number one, two almost, three exactly on Tenkan Sen, right? And number four, five, and seven, eight, nine, ten and 12, 13 almost, and 14, and 15 too. You can see the price has been crossed over Tenkan Sen, right? Now, why does this happen? Well, because in this market, the price moves 9 days as one cycle, and it keeps going. Like, look at the vertical lines between 7 and 13. The candles are crossing over up and down the Tenkan Sen with exactly equal 9 day period, right? It means the cycle of the market between line 7 and 13 were moved according to 9 day period and therefore you can expect when exactly it will cross the Tenkan Sen next time, right? So the question here is why does this happen? Why these candles cross over the Tenkan Sen in 9 day cycle? That's because it's the equilibrium point where buy and sell power becomes 50-50 ratio and the price will possibly break towards either direction by following the winner. In other words, it shows a point where the equilibrium on the market will possibly collapse on the next momentum. Uh, let me put it this way. Imagine when the price is below Tenkan Sen and it gets closer to Tenkan Sen. At this stage, which one is stronger, sell or buy? It's sell, right? Because the price is below Tenkan Sen and it shows the sell position got advantage for the past 9 days. But as it gets closer to Tenkan Sen, it gets closer to the equilibrium. And when it finally touches on the line, that's when buy and sell becomes exactly on balance between 50-50 power ratio. And that's what we call Kinkoten in Japanese, where market is power balanced equally. So what can you expect it'll happen next? What happens if the buy is stronger as a result? In that case, power balance will collapse and the price will break the Tenkan Sen upwards as a result. In contrast, if the sell is stronger at that point, then the price will be resisted by the Tenkan Sen and it will start to go downwards, right? And here is the most important part. By using this theory, you can expect where the next equilibrium point will be, but we never know which direction it will move afterwards. If I refer to Ichimoku Sanjin's words, we're not here to predict the future in the market, but we are here to know the presence of the market. 
And what it means to know the presence of the market is to know the patterns in the chart with cycle in time and wave and price target expectations. And all the lines in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is to expect the time cycle or the rhythm or the breadth of the market, if you will, in 9 and 26 candles as one cycle. And let me tell you, this is why it's called Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, because by using this tool, you will know exactly in what cycle the current price is at within a certain time period, and you can see at one glance. And that's what Ichimoku Kinko Hyo makes it very unique, unlike other indicators. Alright, um, let's look at another chart. Here is the daily chart of Euro Pound with the vertical lines. Look at the point where the price crosses Tenkan Sen. It's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, like 2 days before, and 9, 10, 11, 12, and 14, and 15, right? And to the next vertical line, there are 6 days. So we can expect 6 days later, the price might touch the Tenkan Sen. However, in this case, the price might be going into Kumo, so it might not be the case. I will tell you about it when I talk about the Kumo later, but um, you see how it's been working like this? So again, when the price reaches to Tenkan Sen, it shows the significant point of the equilibrium on the market being exactly balanced for the past 9 days or the past 9 candlestick time, and this is the time theory. And eventually you combine with wave theory and price observation theory to identify if the price breaks the Kinkoten in the future, you know, if the price touches the Tenkan Sen next time, by combining those two theories, you will know how much the price is expected to move up or down by another simple calculations. And that's actually the ultimate use of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, which I will also be talking about. So let's look at Kijun Sen next, and you know what it's meant for by now, right? Remember, Kijun Sen shows the mid price of the highest and the lowest for the past 26 days or 26 candles. And 26 is also one of the base numbers, you know, one of the numbers that could be a possible time cycle in the market. And here is a daily chart of gold. And look how the price is being crossed over the blue line over time. Like starting from number 1, number 2, and number 3 crossed downwards, and number 4 looks like this was supported by Tenkan Sen, not Kijun Sen, and near number 5, the price was supported by Kijun Sen, and it's been going up until today. So you can instantly expect that when the price reaches to the next time cycle, which is 22 days after from today, it might be hitting the Kijun Sen again, and it could be either crossing up or down then, or it could be supported or resisted, because that's possibly when the buy and sell energy being balanced next time, and it could be a possible equilibrium point under this 26 time cycle. Actually, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo works the best in daily time frame or above, from my own personal experience, but you can apply it on any other time frames like 4 hour, 1 hour or 5 minute chart because the market is fractal, but it works the best in daily time frame I think, and that's just based on my own experience. Alright, so that was the basic technique of how you can use Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So by looking backwards 9 or 26 candles from where the price touches or crosses those lines, you will know if the market has been synchronizing with those cycles, and if it has been, then you can expect the market will move with that cycle in the future too. And actually it happens everywhere on any pairs because these cycles are considered to be universal, like psychological cycles that traders can bear to hold their positions, uh, just like retracement of Fibonacci. And remember, it's not something that you can trust and predict, but this is one of the significant information to expect and create your own scenario, just like creating your own business plan on each trade. So as you can see, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is not just the indicator to show the signals, but the real uniqueness is to know where the equilibrium on the market is and what cycle, you know, what interval 
the market has been moving as one cycle so that you know the presence of the price level that you are trading. So I recommend you to investigate this on any charts like the pairs you're trading right now and just focus on Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen first and with your own eyes see how the market has been moving so far with 9 or 26 candle cycles and focus on where the next equilibrium will be and I'm sure it will give you a great value in trading. Alright, I guess I will just stop it for now, but if you thought this video gave you some inspiration on how you see the market, please press the good button and I will continue to be talking about Kumo and Chikospan and two other important theories that I mentioned earlier and a lot more. So if you don't want to miss them, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get automatic notification as I keep uploading. Alright, stay gold. Mata ne. Cheers.